Hello YouTubers, it's me, Video Game Madness 15, and we are here with the one year anniversary of our channel. As you know, we started this on June 5th of last year, and we went from being a nobody to a somebody. And we are making a name for ourselves here. We have 169 subscribers, so that's a fantastic thing. Um, the game that we're starting off, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite game of all time, GTA San Andreas. So, during this, I'll be like, kind of, I guess, cosplaying it, or whatever you want to call it. I'm wearing the blue jeans, the legendary tank top, and we're going to go from there. We are going to have some fun. I know not a lot of people like the definitive edition. But I find it enjoyable. And just a wee bit better than the original. Just a wee bit. But, um, yeah, that's what's on the agenda. So, let's get straight to the gaming area. And let's do some business. Am I right? Because we gotta, we gotta get going. We just have to. Alright, let's get started. I'm already excited for all of this, so let's do it. The older Rockstar logo. They still have it up, but, you know. When San Andreas and, all, and Vice A and GTA 3 came out, that was when, you know, Rockstar Games was good. They didn't, you know, they weren't trashy. They weren't lazy. They didn't... They actually cared about what the people wanted, what the people thought, as well as their own content, their own stuff, which is the issue with them now. They don't care about what they're doing. They, it's like they lost, you know, that good side of them. And now that they've lost, you know, Laszlo Jones, um, I can't remember if it's Dan or Sam Hauser. It's one of those two. I think it's Sam, but... One of the Hauser brothers. And then, um, what was his other name? We'll find it here in the, uh, oh, Leslie Benzies. Now, having Leslie Benzies and then one of the Hauser brothers, again, I can't remember which out of the two that left the company. Those two right there, that could have, if that hasn't, it's really crushed or attacked on the... Rockstar community and you know who knows if maybe they'll get back on their feet, but Gotta take it one day at a time All right now be because of no copyright issues, let's go to the music, get that turned down. We're not turning it off, we're just turning it down really low. If I'm going to be listening to, listening to anything, it's only going to be a WCTR, because they got no music there. Um, that could give us copyright. And I don't think they'd give us copyright for their news broadcastings either. Or one would like to think, anyways. Francis International Airport, Liberty City, 1992. After five years on the East Coast, it's time to go home. Welcome to Los Santos Airport. Sup? Call her sweet. Sup, sweet, what you want? This mom. Alright, now here we're going to meet some bad people. I don't know why it's loading sluggishly. It might be because of my PlayStation.
I'll take that, Hernandez. Hey, that's my paper, man. That's money. This is drug money. It's my money, man. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll fill it out later. <sighs> Welcome home, Carl. Glad to be back. You haven't forgotten about us, have you, boy? Hell no, Officer Tenpenny. I was just wondering what took y'all so long. Get in the car. Ease up, man. Damn. Watch your head. Ah. <laughs> bad. Get out of here, you greaseball bastard! Stupid Mexican. Oh, hey, sorry. My bag. Hey, man, my bag! So right there from the beginning, we kind of get a head start on, like, who the bad people are. Or, like, the start of, or the, like, idea of who's bad. How you been, Carl? How's your wonderful family? I'm here to bury my mom. You know that. Yeah, I guess I do. So what else you got shaking, Carl? Nothing. I live in Liberty City now. I'm clean. Legit. Nah, you ain't never been clean, Carl. Well, what do we got here? This is a weapon, Officer Pulaski, that was used to gun down a police officer not ten minutes ago. Officer Pendleberry. A fine man, I might add. You work fast, nigga. You know I just got off the plane. Well, that's a good thing we found you. Retrieved the murder weapon. That ain't my gun. Don't bullshit me, Carl. Yeah, don't bullshit him, Carl. What the fuck you want from me this time? When we want you, we'll find you. In the meantime, try not to gun down any more officers. <laughs> Y'all can't leave me here. This ball is country. I thought you said you was innocent, Carl. But you don't bang. This is car 58. See you around like a donut, what? Carl. <laughs> ah, shit. shit. Here we go again. Go again. Worst place in the world. Rolling Heights Baller Country. And I ain't represented Grove Street in five years. But the ballers won't give a shit. Mm-hmm. One of the uh, most iconic lines in the game. It's like really ranked up there. Um, it's still iconic to this day for the uh, whole GTA series that they've gone through. Um, which, you know, on the, uh, contract DLC on the online thing or whatever, I saw videos of, like, Franklin Clinton, um, re-saying those words, and I was like, what a good way to, uh, bring back some of the old memories. Another fun fact is, he's actually in this game, not Franklin Clinton, but the voice actor of him. Now the first time I saw my dad play this game, I always thought that the reason that Big Smoke went was there at the beginning of the mission was because he was cleaning up for Sweet. 
because, you know, Sweet would be at the funeral, Big Smoke would be, try and be like a good friend to clean up. You know me, it's not cut. Keep the value in it, keep it real. But that's why I thought only at first, though. That I was starting to kind of get a grasp of things. I miss you these five years, man. It would be real happy to see. Hey, what's up, y'all? Look who I found hanging around. Carl, hey, good to see you. I can't believe she's gone, man. That's another funeral you ran away from, fool. Just like Brian's. Hey, she was my mama too. Not for the past five years she wasn't, nigga. And where the fuck you think you going? What? Get out my face. I'm going to see Cece. The hell you are, girl. You ain't messing with them essays. You know we beat them. Ain't nothing but a Look, bunch of low lives. Look, what the fuck are you? At least I got prints. Oh, and I guess that makes you an upstanding American. Carl, tell him. Carl, don't tell me shit, As long bitch. as he treat her right, disrespect you, and he did. How the hell you gonna say that? Like it's any business of yours. Fuck you, sweet. Oh, shit. Ass. Here we go again. <sighs> Real fucked up. Everything. What you mean? What, apart from your mother being dead? Things are going real bad. Hey, let me show you running, man. Tony's buried over there. Little devil over there. It big devil over there. Man, it's just crazy. Everybody blasts on food first, then asks questions second. Alright. Now, this is where it gets intense early in the game. But I figured out a secret. Thanks to, I believe it was the professional that uh, I learned this uh, secret hint to a um, few years ago, about five, three years ago. Let's hope I still remember, you know, how to do all this stuff. Things have changed while here. Watch your back right here, man. I get so bad. I thought this was a family show. Yeah, it's Temple Drive now. We don't roll with them no more. Now, as you can see, the bullets right there are only shooting at CJ and Sweet. They're not really shooting at Ryder and Big Smoke. Oh, get on the bike, Carl, please. Whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up. Oof. Alright, let's get going. Move it, CJ, move it. There we are. Shit, a bonus car's on to us. Split up. Keep up, motherfucker. Now what you do is normally you should have a gun with you. I don't. But you just normally you should shoot those two guys, kill them, get them out of the way, and then get that gun. So then you have a little bit of ammo. Come on, cop, leave me alone. Normally taking those guys out, you would get two of the uh, micro SMG ammo. The only reason I got one was because of either how close they were on like their death. Or because of like a minor glitch that I might have caused by accident. Because I had like the same issue similar to that in the original version as well. There's Ryder. Now I should have gotten that uh, drug dealer. But I'll probably be getting some, you know, after this mission. And then I'll take another clip of the second mission, which is Ryder. So then I can have some money to get the haircut that I need, or more like want. And then go from there. Then I'll probably do a stream of this gang weapons and then probably after that I will get um tags all of them all hundred I got 
don't give a fuck though. So the so niggas who's gangster. Why the nigga? So when you leaving, Carl? I ain't sure. Thought I might stay. Things is fucked up. The last thing we need is your help. Ah, man, I won't let you down. I swear. Hey, we gonna call some hood rats and chill the hell out. You want some? I got a whole lot going on. I'm tired. I'll catch y'all later. Hey, yo, just drop in. We all hanging out. Cheers. And get yourself some colors, fool. And a haircut. It's embarrassing to be seen with you. Now I know this might sound really, really crazy, and this is only a thought, so take it with a grain of salt. I think Lamar Davis is somewhat related to Ryder in this game. And, you know what, maybe I could make a video about, like, why. Because that could be, you know, some that could be interesting to you guys, too. I know that good chance that they're not. But I might have some ideas for reasons as to why. Um, so let's get to the Ryder missions. Alright, let's go to Ryder's place. As you can see, I made a little bit of money for me to get the haircut that I normally get now. Thanks to my dad, but you know. Can't complain. It's actually a good haircut for Carl. Hello. Hey, I thought I explained some shit. Sweet. Hey, what's up? Since you've been away, shit has changed around here. Grove Street families ain't big no more. Seville Boulevard families and Temple Drive families are beefing and split with the growth. Now we're so busy, set tripping, ballers and vargos are taking over. So watch yourself out there. Yeah, I hear you. Thanks for the heads up. Don't mention it. Alright, let's go talk to Ryder. See what's going on for him. Hey man, what you want? Seeing my home. What's up with you? Yeah, homie, cheers, yeah, it's good to see you back. No homie love? No huh? Oh, for sure, for sure, my nick, my bad. What's cracking with you? Hey man, what you strapped for? Man, some pizza place keeps paying no raw hit up, man. Shit is beautiful. Teach the owner less. Fucking Grove Street. You damn? I'm always damn. <sighs> let's go, bitch. Alright, let's get going. Hey, show me how they drive on the East Coast, homie. There we go. Make sure to turn the radio off real quick. Hey, O'Ree still run the barber shop? Like a raggedy ass motherfucker. He popped his membrane years ago. The way I left that old fool in my head. Yeah, I think I'd get cut up. Whatever. You got five minutes? I'll be cutting you like a DJ. So when you running off again? I'm not. I'm thinking of staying. Why? My family. The homies is here. We were always here, fool. Yeah, but now I'm back, and I know what I've been missing. Don't expect me to kiss your ass or nothing. You still a buster to me. Yeah, okay. Thanks, homie. Yeah, don't mention it. All right. Now, another thing that I'm thinking about is that Carl, like when he was a kid or whatever, would go to that barber shop all the time. And the only reason I say that is because the barber there, Reese, I think that's what his name is, knows CJ so well. And knows really about almost the entire family. Which I always think was interesting. Respect for the hood. All clean as shit. 
looking through skinny CJ. I wanna get us something to eat. I'm gonna finish this. Then I'm gonna take care of business. Alright, now let's get going, get some food in us, and then go from there. Now Ryder has always been a sherm head, from what you've seen. Now normally, except for the first mission, to let you guys know. I normally feed Carl with the $10 meal 10 times um, if he's like starving, which I like come to that, so if he's too muscly, he can lose a little bit of muscle to keep that regulated. Ryder, not this again. It ain't me, fool. No one else is that small. I feel sorry for your dad. Shit, you crazy. Let's get up out of here. Same old CJ. Buster. Straight Buster. But for the first mission, what I do is just feed CJ seven times so he doesn't get like obese early in the game. Alright, there we go. As you can see, I got a little bit of spray paint. But we're going to get a lot more, um, about 5,000, like, grounds or whatever of the spray can stuff for spray paint. So then we can get all the tags, one shot, no troubles. And if you guys have liked this video, make sure you give it a like if you're new to the channel. Like, subscribe. Better drop by and see Sweet. He's been yapping on about that graffiti too. Later, homie. And turn on bell notifications. Again, thank you guys for watching this. I'll be back with the stream. See ya.